Hi, Peter Charles here, folks for Life Fly Fishing. And today I'm going to talk about a problem that's probably going to be a bit controversial for some people. Uh, and that's the idea of us fly guys learning from conventional anglers. Now, for those of you who know that I'm with Loomis, that also means I'm with Shimano, Power Pro, and Jackal. So when I joined Loomis about seven, eight years ago, uh, I thought, well, gee, I had better brush up on my conventional angling game because I'm now with a company that does both. Uh, Loomis has a very big conventional uh, rod selection, very, very big. Uh, and of course, Shimano has a huge one. So I had to get knowledgeable about conventional angling. All of a sudden, I found out that I was learning little tidbits here and there that all of a sudden I began to apply to my fly fishing. And I became more effective with my fly fishing, particularly for warm water species. You know, bass, walleye, pike, you know, sheephead, whatever. Uh, especially striped bass. And I started to really get uh, a view of conventional angling that perhaps I didn't have before. That a lot of it's very technical uh, and, you know, very, very skilled, very knowledgeable approaches just with different tackle. And like, for example, my headstander fly uh, was uh, born out of the shaky head technique. Uh, there's a number of different things I do that I do now because I've seen a conventional angler do something similar and I went, I can make that work. And I went and uh, copied that uh, and applied it to fly, fly fishing tackle. So because I did that, I was able to start to catch fish in different ways. And I flipped it the other way around. I started applying fly fishing tactics to conventional tackle. Uh, that worked really great. Uh, swinging uh, soft plastic uh, swim baits for steelhead instead of swinging flies. <laughs> you know what? It's basically the same thing. Uh, so uh, switching up, moving between the two worlds. Uh, oh, we got a motorbike going by. I got my window open. It's a humid day. Uh, and uh, so switching between the two worlds. Uh, I started having some real fun with it. And also I, I basically became a more effective angler because, you know, I didn't just restrict myself to a little uh, world and not look at the rest. Um, so, you know, I think sometimes us fly guys don't have the right, really the right attitude, let's be fair, okay? Sometimes we can be a real, little bit, uh, you know, about the, uh, the relationship between conventional angling and fly angling. A very quick little story. I'm in Cape Cod with two other friends. We're, we're fishing a little bay and they've got fly gear with them. I've got a spinning rod with me and I've just brought it just, just for the hell of it. And so I'm walking up the beach and there's two guys getting geared up with their fly gear and I say hello to them, they ignore me. So I continue up the beach, I don't like the look of it, continue back down the beach, go back past them, say hello again, they ignore me. I go into the water, I start fishing, they walk by me, they ignore me and they start talking to my two friends. And one of them is complaining about his casting. So my friend says, well, we've got a casting instructor in our party. And the guy said, who? Which one? Guy with the spinning rod. All of a sudden, they talk to me. So those sorts of attitudes don't help us. They really don't. And, uh, you know, once we get to know, you know, for example, I picked up a lot of information by looking at how conventional anglers see the surf in, in Cape Cod for when fishing for striped bass. I, I'm thinking, wow, you know. They're fishing water I would not have bothered with, and they're catching fishing it. So, you know, I learned some plenty by watching conventional anglers and video on conventional anglers for straight back in Cape Cod. So there's a lot to learn. So give it a chance. Give it a try. Watch some videos, maybe some TV programs. Uh, you know, talk to some conventional gear guys that really know their stuff. You'd be surprised what you can pick up. So give it a try. Cheers.